Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Deep Rock Galactic. Um, unlocked a new mission type. And I'm gonna try the scout. So... I don't even know what I have, but hey, we're going for it. Um, I do rather enjoy the scout in 1 Team Fortress 2. But I imagine this will probably be different. Uh, machine gun, boomstick, grappling hook, and flare. Okay, not bad. Oh, that's cool. You see your depth. Get ready. All right. All right, team. Oh, I have different flare colors too. That's useful. Can't miss them. They're big and they glow. Get the eggs, stow them in Molly, and get back alive. Is Molly what they call the mule? That's cute. Good time. All right. Uh, grab some of that, will you? I love how much culture the dwarves have, you know? Like, yes, I'm aware that it's fundamentally the same culture in every single piece of fantasy work ever made. Oh, God! It's a loot monkey. Full of goodies. Probably full up on one of these things. So I've got this trusty, reliable, useful machine gun. And then a super shotgun. Very, very good. Loot bug, open. <laughs> nice. There you are. I'll beat your record this time. Just watch me. Gold, Nitra, Enerpearl, Bismore. I like that I have my own color of flare as well. Probably makes it very easy to tell who's who and where's where and who is going where uh, in multiplayer. Again, that's another thing that's just not noticed or talked about, but man, what a useful thing that they've done. How nice of them. Make a deposit. An, an ebonet. Still don't know what those exactly are, but they appear to be some kind of flower. Maybe something that petrified or will become petrified. Drop this off and forge on. So yeah, I like both of these weapons better already. Oh, what happened? Oh, I put my hand on my uh, pad thingy. Okay, cool. Looks like this is the way. Oh, it's a different kind of grenade. Interesting. Also, I just want to mention this. I do love loadouts where a primary secondary weapon is two weapons of equal value, better at different things. Ow. Thanks, Bosco. Thank you, Bosco. All right, good to know. Anyway, two guns of similar value. Glyphid Exploder. Ugh. Oh yeah. Not necessarily a better gun and a worse gun because I love when that's the case. I love how everything looks kind of pixelated, I'll be honest. I like the vibe, it reminds me of Quake and I love Quake. I think that more video games should experiment with um, having slightly lower poly uh, organic material. 
Oh, that's probably what we need, right? Or is it? I like the sound of that. Maybe it's good. Is that the This is fun. Jesus. Anyway, everyone by now should know how big of a fan of Doom I am, and if not, uh, no shame. What does this do? Lighting! Oh! That's really useful. Took out a loot bug. I love both Boy, of these guns that. very much. And the... That thing is just plain old useful. Let's make a dump here. I'm wondering if fighting bugs and moving dirt is the best way to make a living. Uh, Bosco, can you? Nice pair. Thank you. Okay, cool. Go fetch. Wow, I'm so drawn into this. Kind of amazed. I didn't think I would, like, love this as much as I do, but, like... Like, I knew I would like it, but, like, wow, I am, like, I am so in here. Like, swim weird. Loot bug eliminated. That's a geometric shape. Those are rare in nature. Though not impossible, considering that, um, we know that, uh, Flares up. uh, bismuth will naturally make geometric shapes. Because bismuth is awesome. Now, I'm not one for rocks myself, but I do own a large chunk of bismuth. Oh, it looks like that's the next. Yeah. But first. You're cute, but you're dead. All right. I can see that I'm going to have to get all my friends into this now. Thanks, Deep Rock Galactic. I really like the idea of just having extra light as well. Not ready. There's recharging. Light. Light. You love to see it. You love to see, in fact. It's a very primal, basic human urge to be afraid of the dark because it is a removal of a sense. And humans are known for relying on their sight. Perhaps too much, but I'm not one to say. Not exactly my place. You know, I'm going to come out and say it. There should be more fantasy first-person shooters. I'm sure you all remember how fantastic of a time that you had with um, that one Borderlands DLC. Lights up! What does this do? Ooh. Fun. And very functional. about low like asset quality games is that like they're gonna be easier to make and so like updates come out quicker they load faster they're easier to get running on your PC like texture quality can go up and up and up oh he's pointing at it again yeah okay uh, come down here to me because I want to drop off some stuff, and then I'm going to go get into that hole, I think. Yeah, I think less games should be afraid really go for a cold brew right now. of having, like, low-poly assets. Because, like, I don't think it's that bad of a thing to be... to have in your game, you know? 
Every game wants to be like 4K Super HD, mega, mega, ultra wide monitor shit, but like, man, I still like playing Doom. I like how Doom looks. It's got a good art style. I think an art style will always be better than graphics for a video game, no matter what the case is. Because like, PS2 games, those still look good and not like passable, but like good, good. And it's because a lot of them have an art style. Or they're very, very smart about getting around it. Like, I think more games should learn from PS2 games. More modern games, at least. I've, I've, ha I've missed it. Oh, so they're in here. Okay. Very gooey in here. Oh, there it is. Prepare to fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. Like, the fact that this game is only two gig is also just really nice. Combat positions. The swarm is here. Actually, I'll wait. Like, there are very few parts of video games where, like, games look reliably ugly. I want to say it's only, like, the PS1 era. Because, like, you go back to a lot of N64 games and PS1 games, uh, like, Dreamcast, and, like, there are just a lot of games that just do not look good. What kind of fiendish technology makes Molly constantly get in the way? feel very slow and less powerful, but like, I suppose being less powerful than the tank class is to be a given, considering. Bosco's taking a hit. I wonder how I can fix that. I want to protect him. Looks like this is the next stuff. Doesn't look like you can get a lot of good terrain deformation off with your grenade. Especially with this character who doesn't even have an explosive grenade. But like, even as the gunner... Oh, there it is. Not a lot can be done. But I suppose that's not really what they're for now, is it? Where to next? That away. Okay. You got that, Bosco? I mean, I say that like I know that you do, but I don't know that you do, and I would give my life for you, you wonderful, wonderful beast. Now that deformed the terrain. Got enough for a resupply. I don't exactly need it yet. My shotgun's out, but that's okay. I don't need. I don't need it. It is technically the secondary. 
Though again, I, I think this might be more of a case where like secondary does not mean the worst weapon that you keep with you in, for emergencies. I think it just means a second weapon. Like, because like take Team Fortress 2, for example, the secondaries in those are like holdouts. Like, hey, the heavy will never use his um, shotgun. Um, if you see a heavy using a shotgun, it's because he's somehow run out of ammo for his big fuck off gun. Or like in Overwatch, Mercy's not really meant to use her pistol. She will use it, but if she's not healing someone, she's probably playing the game wrong. Can you grab that boss? Help me mine this. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe it's different for a character, actually. Because, like, the revolver does not seem to be, like, able to, to keep mine. up with the lead storm. What I mine. With, in, in any case, like, how cool the name is, the design of the gun, its damage output, its DPS, etc. Oh, and then through this loose earth, we can probably get back to... <laughs> probably get back to the main cave. So where was this last egg here? Uh, there it is. I love how it's gooey and so it takes one swing to get through. Feels very, very good. Blow me. There we go. Just gotta clear a little path here. Thank you. I don't know why I'm clearing that path. I got out. All eggs collected. Management will be pleased. Escape pod button is activated. Let's hit it. And then quit it. You know, with some reflection, it looks like the... It looks like the uh, shotgun for the scout is better. It just has a miserable ammo capacity. Drop pod has arrived. The mule has been called back. Drop pod departing in T minus five minutes. Woohoo! That's fun. I like that. My pot is there. Sorry. I didn't know where the enemies were, so I had to lay down some covering fire. Lloyd is up. Go, go, go! Drop pot isn't waiting forever. Ooh, but there's gold though. So how do I get back there? Oh, I can just blow through here, of course. But I should be careful not to drop myself to my death again. Because I did do that. So does this work? It does! Splendid! All right, let's make it like an egg and get the fuck out of here. A very short and successful mission. I like that. What a good game. I gotta get everyone to play this. Let's see, who on my friends list doesn't play this? Sarah has a Mac, so she can't play this. I think Kate doesn't have a copy. All right. Yeah. Mm. Well done. You clearly know how to use a pickaxe, but do you have what it takes to handle more heavy duty mining equipment? Management has granted you access to on site refining missions. 
Cool. Sorry. Uh, texting my friends. Utada Hikari just came out as non-binary, so I need to let everyone know that we stan. Let's try drillering. Oh yeah, I learned this uh, exists as well. There's this thing, which is just basketball. Nice. Of course, played with a flaming hoop because we are dwarves, lest we forget. Of course, and then you can reset your counter. Yeah, and then there's also this, the jukebox. <laughs> and then we got a robot. And <laughs> we can get a uh, uh, we can get booze. And it appears to give you stat bonuses, which is also nice. Dig deep. Okay. So So promotion is not leveling up. Leveling up, I think, just unlocks new goodies at the shop, which... Ugh, he's ugly. His face is melting into his chin. Player rank. Requires three. Requires seven. It's all require three. I don't think I'm going to like this guy on the merit that I don't think he's uh, very good looking. Oh, I guess these are for mini buys. Presumably not like literally a microtransaction. But like they're a secondary currency used because it's a lot rarer. Full scream. Let's solo it on low risk. Drop pod is ready. Time to leave. I love this. I love, I love getting to see... Oh, and it shows you your, your height as well. Okay, so we're 37 kilometers up, floating in the atmosphere. And then otherwise, we're 1,000 kilometers in the surface of this planet. Fight the darkness. Classic. Classic. I would love to see this get added to PS4 and 5 and then get cross play. I feel like that's I feel like that's the move, you know? Wow. This thing looks like a real piece of shit. Set up pipes. Sorry, what? So first of all, Morkite can come in a liquid form. That's new to me. Quest pump check. Pump check. Request accepted. Stand clear. Gotcha. Inbound. Gotcha. So what all do I got? I've got a real teeny pistol. Connect the pipelines to the pump jack. Nice. How do I do this? Connect the pipelines to the pump jack. And then I've got... Hello! Mm-hmm. I like that. It's overheated. I like that a lot. And then I've got satchel charge, high explosive. And that's different from my grenade as well. So far my favorite might be the scout just on account of the uh, shotgun. Because that is a good fucking shotgun. Also, in any first-person shooter that isn't Doom, just... Right, got a flamethrower. 
Gotta be way closer to get this thing to work. Mac wants the flamethrower. Mac wants the what? That's what he said. Your own fault for being full of goodies. Goodies. <laughs> I literally was like, I want Wayne June to say goodies. When I was playing uh, Darkest Dungeon a couple of weeks ago. Because I was like, oh, goodies. And then I was thinking about how Wayne June is always like, glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. And I was like, I want Wayne June to say goodies. That sounds fun. Oh, that can't support my weight. Is that just in general or is it because I'm a fat bitch? This dwarf, I mean. I, in real life, am a moderate sized bitch. Oh god. So how do you connect? I'm still figuring that out. I guess I should use this more, huh? Okay. Ah. See, this makes more sense. I'm making a staircase. You know what doesn't overheat? Pickaxe. Too long. Valid. This goes here. Ah, I see. A little too. Long. It'll be a beauty once it's complete. You can command Bosco to finish. Pipes up. If only Useful. someone would help me build it. Oh, it twists. That's very clever. And also makes a lot of sense. All right, let's uh let's get the next ones on, huh? See, this would be good for the scout because you can just di you can just dash around, get work done. Where are these where are all these things? Pipeline 3. Okay. Pipe construction here. Let's get the minerals. I'll be dreaming of pipes tonight. <laughs> ah, yes, like pipe dream. Need a pump jack here. Pump jack launched. Stay clear from the impact zone. So I'm starting to see that every single person has their own, like, strengths, as you would expect from a video game. One down, more to go. Connect the pipelines to the pump deck and let them be extraction. Mactura Trijaw. Ugh. So, like, miners best at terrain deformation. Oh, good. So I can still deposit stuff. That's useful. It just goes directly into into this. Makes sense. Kind of cool that this is like, because in the other one you you move a lot more, and like your base kind of moves with you, but you have way less of a base. But in here you have way more of a reliable base. Where's this last thing? Oh, 
Ah. I see. In this, you have way more of a base, like... Send plug right the hell down. Uh, oh man, this is this is bad design. Got to loop around here. What is grind? <laughs> yes, yes. That's wonderful. I adore that. Here I am, y'all. Getting older all the time. Looking older all the time. But feeling younger in my mind. It's really nice of uh, Goldfinger to write Superman for me. You know the song? Right. Boop. Boop. Let's try this, actually. We haven't done this at all. Things about to go boom. Okay, so what do I... Yes. I see. Out of ammo. Loud and clear. Time to earn your paycheck, team. Got a doozy of a swarm in the way. It looks like they're pretty forgiving with how this moves, which is very nice. Swarm! I repeat, swarm! This pistol isn't bad. It has quite a bit of a kick, actually. There it is. I love the I love the reload for this. Oop, 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 good. Okay. So now that we know where it is, let's work backwards. And it looks like there is an optimal way to construct these. And I have not done it. Nothing like cheating, baby. What do I need? What else do I need to do? Like riding a roller coaster. Oh, they have little grind rails on them. That's useful. I've always wanted soap shoes. Those are the shoes that Sonic the Hedgehog wears. Dun, 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 yeah. Awesome. All right. Connect three pipelines. Ah, okay. Oh, this means that you can have... Oh, man. I actually really want to play that in a... 
in in proper because you can have like a team of guys all working together to hammer this thing together. That's cool. Like you have a scout running ahead and placing the things. You have a gunner hammering stuff down. You have a miner getting a path ready for the pipeline itself. And you have an engineer uh, holding it down back at base. That's interesting. Okay, I hope that this won't be a problem. Because I have threaded this through another pine. I feel like a plumber. I just need a big, bushy mustache. I imagine that this also would give you a lot more incentive to have way less things because every juncture is when you need to do this animation. And so the less junctures you use, the more efficient you are overall. Very interesting. I definitely want to play this one online. One pipeline completed. Pump cool. track connected to refinery. Making some money. Try to keep up. Da, na, 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 na. Oh, I've got to go the other way, huh? Damn you. So here I am. Getting older all the time. Looking older all the time. You shouldn't need precious mineral. It will get you killed. <laughs> the audacity of dwarves, man. Man, you know what I wish was good? The Chronicles of Narnia. Not to add any of those diehard Narnia fans out there. But like, it's there's, there are definitely some good, cool parts in Narnia. There's a lot of good things in Narnia to like, but like, man, I am rather disappointed by a significant portion of it. Cause a certain C.S. Lewis's Another views one is ready come out in uh, not great ways in regards to religion, atheism, and women. That isn't relevant here. Um, I was just thinking about classical fantasy authoring and writing um, because, like, these are these are Tolkienic dwarves, you know? These, these are jerks dwarves through and through. Like, and I, I, I'm not mad about that. That's amazing, and I love that. By the way, yes, he would go there. by jerk to his friends. That was a real thing. There is a very real letter from Tolkien that we found. I say we, but like, that people found. Wherein he describes his new nickname. You read J.R.R. Tolkien, J.R.R.T., as a word, and it is pronounced jerk. And then in the same letter, he specifies that it rhymes with dirt. So yeah, dirt. The most influential author since the guy who wrote the Bible. Dirt. Fantastic. Pump jacks are all in place, and the liquid morkite is waiting. Return to the refinery and start up the pump sequence. Okay. So this is a lot more technical than the other ones. This is probably the most like an actual mine, you know? The liquid morkite is being extracted. Refinery and all pump jacks are working at full capacity. Be warned, the noise will draw in the locals. So stay on yeah, your toes and do what you can to protect and maintain the equipment. The equipment. Yeah. We got company. Incoming swarm approaching you. Oh, and it shows how much is uh, how much the, re the refinery fills up too. I love that the biggest, lamest, hunkest, like chunkest dwarves will still grind this fucking pipe Liquid because that's cool. is being extracted. Pump sequence at twenty-five percent. I don't know if I found enough to get a uh, to get a, a green. Oh god! The pipelines are jammed. You need to maintain them. Right. 
Pipeline one and three. Which one is this one? One. Okay. Is that the... Is that fixed? Sure ain't. Surfing underground! <laughs> Uh... <laughs> Pipeline functional again. However, we still have malfunctions in the system. Sorry, right, I gotta get this nitro though. So is my stuff still going up? I don't know that it is. Inventory is full. I want to be sure to have. Um, enough cash money to be getting on with, you know? This is cool, man. I, I really like this. Like, of all of them, this is what I'm really excited to play online. I don't know what it is, but, like, I really love the vibe of, like, we're locked down in this location. Crack, like, just get cracking, get it fig figured out. Get it, get it going, get it working, you know? Keep all systems running, and we're done in no time. So yeah, it looks like that does not go up unless all three of them are running. That's a little harsh, but... Oh god! This weapon kind of sucks, I'll be perfectly honest. The drill is great. The drill is fantastic. I'm not gonna fuck with the drill, but like, that drill is probably why you're playing this guy. Yeah, like, I'm so excited to see the different ways that you can play this, like... The cargo rocket is almost full. You could have one guy on every pipe and then another dude just running around, like running interference for everyone else. You get two and two. And then have everyone unite to get the last one. Along the pipeline. Maintenance crew to work. Pipe one, what is this? Two? One crosses through two. Where are they at? Layers recharging. Long way. Oh god, hurry. Here? Jesus. We got more? We do got more. Kite. Okay, where are we holding? 84? Machinery is running again. Well done. Wow, that looks cool. I wonder what the process is. I am... Swarm? We got another swarm. This, this may not come as a surprise to any long-time viewers of the channel, but... I am, in fact, quite interested in metallurgy. Liquid Morkite quota met. Hit the return button on the refinery to send the goods to orbit. We'll send in the drop part to get you out. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Lift it, Praetorian, eliminate. Oh, wow, I'm running dry on a lot of stuff. Let's get thee gone, huh? Yeah, you got your money first, though, right? Just making sure everyone got paid before I was safe. You're cute, but you're dead. Wow. So 
of my, uh... Let's heard my roommate come out of his room, check the fridge, and then go back into his... I'm empty! Oh, his big butt's probably, like, got a lot of goodies in it. Jesus. Okay. That reminds me, I'm dry on satchel charges too. I don't have any of those. Where's this thing? This way. I just can't support my weight. Ooh, money. I also really like, I just, I want to mention this as well. I do love, love the vibe of you always go back to base at the end of every mission. I'm like, I can see why people wouldn't like that. Because maybe it's annoying if you just want to do multiplayer and you just want to spend all day in matchmaking. And like, why would you want to spend time in the, in the ship, you know? Oh, Jesus. Run. But it, like, it really does help generate a big, a, like, a really good feeling of camaraderie. I'm just like, you know, you're hanging with your bros. You're in the galley, the canteen, you know. After the mission, y'all go back here, and that's great. Like, no dwarf left behind. You make sure that everyone gets in the drop pod. You wait until everyone's on the drop pod until you get on, you know. You stand in the drop pod and count the heads before you get back on, you know. Buddy system like a field trip, and that's, that's cool. Because, like, I've interacted very little with the Deep Rock Galactic, like, fandom and player base, but they seem very non-toxic, considering that they are a multiplayer fan base. In recognition of your performance, your security level has been upgraded. You've been granted access to new regions of Hoxies. Congratulations, Miner. Cool. Uh, that's probably going to do it for this episode. all about securing the caves, you know. Uh, next time I'll do one is the engineer, and then who knows. Uh, but I'm enjoying this, like, way more than I thought I would. I'm, I'm really liking this. And, like, I knew I would like it, but I'm liking it even more than that. You know? Good fucking game. So I've been Alfred. This has been Deep Rock Galactic. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Thank you.